Hi everybody, um, this is Jen. I'm in Tucson, Arizona, and I understand there are a number of people in my community that are interested in having a vegetable garden. And I have some ideas that might help you get started. And it's March, it's the end of March 2020, and some of us find ourselves with a little bit of extra time and a desire to, to be growing our own food more than ever. So if, um, if I can share anything from what I've learned from gardening uh, in the last number of years, I would like to do that. Um, growing food in Tucson, Arizona and Southern Arizona in general uh, is a very unique growing environment. And there are certain things that you really need to uh, think of when you set up your garden the first time to help you be successful. So I'd like to make a few videos specifically to address those, as well as any questions that you have um, about that. And if you would, um, I'll just make these tailored to what I think is important to know, but also specifically questions that you might have uh, based on where you're at in your, in your process of setting up right now. Um, again, it's the end of March and this is a good season to get some things going. Um, some people don't grow over the summer at all. Those that do need to be really aware of what we need to do to succeed because we are very much at the mercy of the sun here. Um, if you would leave um, questions and things that you're concerned about in the comments, that would really help me um, um, make some future videos to be specifically helpful to you. Um, tomorrow morning I'll do a video to show you what I've done in my three raised bed gardens. I have 100 square feet. Um, it's more than more than enough space for me and uh, to share with friends and neighbors. Um, I often wish I had more. Um, you can do an awful lot with um, 36 square feet that's for sure or whatever you got. Um, so I'll, I'll show you what I have why I chose what I did, why I oriented them the way I did, how I mixed the soil um, and the amendments, um, set up my irrigation, um, and so you can get an idea um, from that video about some possibilities if you haven't set up one up yet. There are a lot of online resources out there. Um, that can help you with many aspects of this. So I'll just focus on getting started with desert specific stuff. And um, again, please leave your comments. Some ideas I had that I thought would be particularly useful to you would be um, um, why, why choose a raised bed and um, what materials to use, um, soil composition, that's a biggie. And See, irrigation, you could do a whole one just on irrigation, and let's see, what to plant, when and why, planting seeds versus starts, and timing, uh, soil mending, dealing with weeds and pests, and uh, where to find some of these things uh, in the area. So again, um, please leave some comments and um, I will look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.